हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन ऑन फंक्शन चैप्टर द फंक्शन एफ इज डिफाइंड बाय एफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू ई टू द पावर टू एक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय थ्री एक्स माइनस फोर एंड इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड इट्स फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव सो एफ एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू ई टू द पावर टू एक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री एक्स माइनस so the first derivative f des x will be we will be using differentiation uh, product rule as well as chain rule so differentiating the first term e to the power 2x multiplied by 2 into 3x minus 4 plus e to the power 2x into the derivative of the second term which will be 3 so on simplifying this we get is 6x e to the power 2x minus 8 into e to the power 2x plus 3 into e to the power 2x so we can take e to the power 2x common you will be left is 6x minus 5 so this is the first derivative of the given function now let us move on to the b part in the b part we have to find the coordinates of the point on the graph y equals to fx where the tangent is parallel to the point y equals to x now the tangent is parallel to the line y equals to x that means if we compare it with y equals to mx the slope of the tangent must be equals to 1 slope of tangent is equals to 1 now we know slope of y equals to fx is slope is given by f des x which we have already identified in the previous part so e to the power 2x into 6x minus 5 is our f des x and we have to equate it to 1 Now solving this equation, you will get the value of x as point eight six three. So at point x point eight six three, the x coordinate of the point where if we draw a tangent, its slope will be one. Now to identify the value of y coordinate, we can use y equals to f x, and the function. as we know is e to the power 2x into 3x minus 4 putting the value of x in this equation we will get the value of y as minus 7.93 so at point 863 comma minus 7.93 if you draw a tangent at this particular point on this graph we will get or you will get a tangent with slope 1 okay now let us move on to the part c in the part c the region enclosed by the curve y equals to fx the x axis and the y axis is rotated through two pi radians about the x axis to form a solid of revolution so we know the formula for the solid of revolution is the integral a to b multiplied by pi into the formula or of the fx square into dx so this is the solid of revolution formula for solid of revolution now to get it understand properly we can plot the graph of the given function this is the function fx is equals to e to the power 2x multiplied by 3x minus 4 so the curve enclosed is this one this and then the your graph and this is rotated about x axis so to get the volume of solid of revolution we can integrate it from a to b multiplied by pi into rx square dx so in this case it will be from 0 to 4 by 3 into pi e to the power 2x multiplied by 3x minus 4 square 
into dx. You can evaluate this integral through integra integration by parts. You will have to apply it twice or you can directly get your use your calculator to evaluate this particular integration and you will get the value as 164.849 or approximately 165. Now let us move on to so in the last part we are given that g of 0 is 1 g dash 0 is 2 and we have to find the values of these composite functions. Now in the last part you can see f of g of 0 you have to find. Now we know f of g of x means f of gx. So we can write this as f of z of 0. Now what is the value of z of 0? It is given in the question that z of 0 is 1. So we can put z of 0 as 1. So we have to find the value of f of 1. Now fx we already know is e to the power 2x into 3x minus 4. So we can put the value of 1 as get the value 2 into 1 into 3 into 1 minus 4. So this is e square into minus 1. So the value is minus of e square. Now in the second part we have to find is f of z dash 0 f of z dash 0. Now we know the derivative of f of z dash x is basically the derivative of this function. So this is f dash of g of 0. We are multiplying chain rule into g dash 0 or in terms of x g dash x. So this will be f dash g of 0 multiplied by g dash 0. Now we know z of 0 is 1, so this is f dash 1 into z dash 0. Now z dash 0 is already given in the question. You can see z dash 0 is 2, so we can put it z dash 0 as 2, so this is 2 times f dash 1, f dash 1. So do we know f dash x? Yes, we have already identified in the first part. It is e to the power 2x into 6x minus 5. So can we identify f dash 1? Yes. Put x equals to 1. So e square into 6 minus 5. So this will be 6 e square. So f of 0 dash 0 is 2 times f dash 1 which is 2 times e square. So this is your solution. And for more such questions and their detailed solutions and explanations, do visit our website iitnacademy.com and register for detailed explanations as well as regular updates. Thank you.